Uh, next step, uh, I would be introducing a little bit about the centerpiece of the car is the pad. The pad is a place where we integrate the majority of the function control inside one big screen. Uh, so here, uh, if, if you want to have a, the overall uh, review of the car, the car's uh, functionalities, you press on the the icon of the car where you can see the majority of all the functions. So on the right side, where you can track from the system side, you can track uh, the time format, uh, the language settings, the keyboard settings, and etc. So this is from the system side. So the aided side where you can select, you can activate the intelligent cruise control, activate or deactivate it. So enable. The safety assist, you have a variety of selections so my recommendation is to you turn them on you have them all activated to uh, safeguard your driving the parking assist uh, you have two uh, selection cards inside this uh, inside this slide on the left side you can tap on it this is the surroundings a uh, panoramic re, uh, panoramic view uh, camera so we go back a little bit on the right side is the radar monitoring so that means when you do the parking, when you do the reversing, so the surrounding radars will tell you if you are too close to the obstacle to avoid the collision. And the important thing is here, the energy side. The energy, we have uh, three categories. The first one is energy manager. The energy manager, we have everything around here. The first thing is you can select a threshold where when the energy has been uh, consumed, for instance, if you select 40%, that means when the battery reduced uh, to 40%, uh, the engine will come in for a uh, serious driving of the car. And this is the majority of uh, the, the the selection of our. our our energy using you have to you can select save or don't save it here is the save mode instruction you can check take a look at it but in uh, one short sentence is that if you activate the save that means the car will remember each time will remember your preference say 40% the, the car will follow the instruction to save the, the energy as you instructed so the region braking we have two selections one is standard another is high and you can have the energy uh, display that means uh, you can have them displayed in the actual number or figures or the percent of how much energy do you still have on the inside the state of the charge is short for SOC and that is the meaning of it uh, the region breaking I'd like to shed a little bit on this one is because uh, the region braking means when you release the acceleration paddle, you let the vehicle to coast down. The, you can feel that the motor is doing the braking on behalf of you stepping on the braking paddle. But don't take me wrong, you can't use the region braking to replace the braking. When the time you need braking, you need to step on it. And when it comes to the charging and discharging, uh, we have several uh, several selections, several items around here. The first one is smart charging. A smart charging that requires a BYD charger. You can set up uh, when the time you want to charge the battery because sometimes the electricity bill may differ. So you want to take advantage of the very affordable electricity price. You can use a smart charging. And the second thing is the charging port. And the charging port immobilizer system if you enable it there is no way other people will unplug the charging of the chargers uh, that means he or she uh, could not unplug the charger so the vehicle to load means uh, the, v2, the v12 so the v12 means you can use the vehicle as a large power bank to power the load you can use it uh, for instance, you want to cook the coffee, if you want to uh, have a little bit picnic or you want to power the stereo and the speakers, uh, that is something you can use. You can turn it on or select the second one. 
Uh, the second one is to start the engine to generate electricity when the battery is too low. Uh, and that means during the vehicle to load, uh, the vehicle itself may not support your uh, consumption of the energy. Uh, the, the engine will kick in to start producing the electricity for the battery. Uh, that's the meaning of it. And this is the energy consumption of the entire driving behavior, where you can select the power, select the fuel, and have them combined. So on the right side is the parameters of the overall driven range. Uh, this is the fuel consumption. This is the energy consumption from the battery. Uh, where you can see this is the total fuel consumption, uh, the V12 charging. So how much uh, kilowatt hours you already discharged to power the accessories you have. And this is the driving, driving time, that means how many hours you already drive uh, using this vehicle. And the vehicle itself, in terms of the first one, is the intelligent ch chassis. It means when you have the steering assist in doing the steering, uh, what type of response do you expect from the steering wheel? And on the second, on the second one, the second one refers to a function that means brake assist mode. When you step on the braking, what type of response do you want? Do you expect from the braking paddle? The comfort parking, if you activate it, means the vehicle will help you to reduce the heave and heave for you as much as possible because the heave and pitch are two common phenomenon during acceleration and braking. Here you can see the lights, uh, the lights where you can uh, choose uh, the height of the beam. Uh, this is the most uh, frequent used uh, selection. And so the thing here is that uh, the intelligent courtesy light is that if you activate this selection when you are driving on a road using the, the light beam, the, the light beam, if it is uh, the, sl the low beam uh, or it is the high beam. If you are, you are activating, you are using the high beam, the high beam will activate it, change it to low beam to avoid uh, the high beam being too bothering. And the comfort driving here is that you have the auto wiper, that is the wind scrap, uh, the windshield, windshield uh, scrapper. Uh, the weighting protection means that the uh, the instruction of the weight, weighting protection gives you a capability of tr going through the water. But it doesn't mean you can use it for the purpose of having fun. Um, the auto fold means when you have this one activated, uh, selected, when you fully lock the car, the two rear view mirrors will auto fold. That's the meaning of it. This is the place where you can see uh, all the service, including the time, uh, how long, uh, so the total driven range, or uh, how many days still left to do the maintenance in the dealership. So this is probably the majority of functions you, you will be using on a daily basis.